see if we can get this party started. Get a little excitement going on here. Stuff is falling. Stuff is falling. Hey guys, welcome back to Kai's Box. I am so excited. We have just one more week until I start getting the January 2022 pieces in the mail. And I wanted to open something up with you guys. So today I went ahead and got these beautiful pink mailers from the one and only Ipsy so that we have a little bit of stuff to unbox. So please drop below in the comments. Let me know what you are doing for the new year and what is your goal for 2022. I would love to hear and I will be in the comments with all of you engaging and commenting back and all of the things. Now don't forget before we jump in to today's Ipsy boxing of random Ipsy bags, go ahead and do all of the YouTube things and let's dive right in. All right guys, which one do we do first? Small or big, that is the question. I think I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the little bag and we will see what's going on. I am attempting to not show you all my address that is on the outside of this package, but we will see. Hmm, interesting. So I'm gonna have to look back at my order and I will do that before we finish this up. But I have a brand new blue beauty blender, which I absolutely love and needed a new one anyway. But if you look close at it, it has little fuzzies on it. Is this a new kind? Ooh, yeah, see that? It is extra fuzzy. There we go. It is extra fuzzy. And let's see what the little container says. It says beauty blender, makeup sponge, contour tip, breakup to makeup. Wet the sponge, squeeze out the excess water, and bounce your favorite makeup for a flawless finish. Do you guys use beauty blenders or makeup sponges? I love makeup sponges. It is my go-to. So I am excited to have a brand new beauty blender and they always come in the prettiest packaging. If I can get the lid back on. They always come in these cute little ones. I have a pink one too, but I won't open it because it looks like it's in like a little princess cartridge. So the reason I gave this kind of a weird look is I'm wondering if these are my add-ons and they sent them separate from the bags that I purchased because they did not come with an Ipsy bag or anything. So let's see what is going on in this bag. So for New Year's, my parents have been having a New Year's party for the last 20, this will be 22 years. My grandmother was in the hospital in 1999. So we had family in town and all the family came to our house and I was, oh gosh, 15. So all of the family came to our house and then it became an annual thing that people came over for New Year's Eve to my parents' house. So we still do that. Luckily my parents only live about a mile from us. So it's just a short little jaunt and a really good time. We play games. There is adult beverages involved but yet it's a friendly enough place to have the kids there too. So then right at midnight, we can all count down. And as you guys know, I am from Idaho. So we are now known for the Idaho potato drop. So we do our very own little Idaho potato drop right in the dining room at their house. Alrighty guys, let's dive back into this Ipsy. The next thing that we have is the professional super setter. I absolutely love this. I am a huge benefit brand fan. And so I'm, I'm always game for a benefit product. Their super setter is phenomenal. This is just a little baby and it has the nicest mist. I hope you guys could see that and I hope I didn't get it on my lens. Next up, we have the It Cosmetics CC Cream with SPF 50. Now I am guilty of not using SPF all the time and I am changing that because I am getting older. So ignore the wrinkles, ignore the little age spots, especially on the backs of my hands. I am getting better and I'm excited for the CC cream. That's actually one of my favorite creams that they have, the color correcting. Alrighty guys, so this big one here should have our Ipsy bags from previous months in it. So I'm not sure that we'll be able to see exactly what month it's for, but we will have lots of goodies to dive into. Ooh wee, look at those pretty pink bags. Okay guys, so I ended up getting rid of Ipsy. Uh, was it three months ago? I just was like, okay, I have enough makeup. And then I started my subscription box 
channel. If you have a subscription box channel and you've had Ipsy for like four years and don't have it anymore and Ipsy is what introduced you to subscription boxes, I feel like you owe it to yourself to start back up your subscription box with Ipsy each month. Am I right? I think so too. Alrighty guys, let's pull all these out. We have another pink bag. We have a gorgeous, this screams all of my branding with the gold and the blush pink. What else do we have in here? Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, another pink. So that one is pink and black. What else do I have in here? Oh, more stuff. Guys, it just keeps coming. Alrighty, so off with that bag. And let's open this one really quick so that we just have a bunch of bags in front of us and then we will get to unboxing. Ooh, that one's pretty too. I wonder if this one and the pink and black one are related months at all. Oh, and there's still more stuff. Alrighty. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and start with this beauty right here. Like I said, I did buy these after the fact, so it may not tell us exactly what months they are, but still stunning. So I absolutely love Ipsy bags. They are always, well, not always, but usually pretty high quality. This one does have the little Ipsy label right down there at the bottom. It's like a rough glitter with pink on the inside and Ipsy branded on the inside. We are gonna go ahead and get started with the Papaya and Balm Glow Lip Mask from Seraphine Botanicals. This is PETA certified, vegan and cruelty free, no parabens with apricot, jojoba, rosehip, and papaya seed oils with papaya and acerola extracts. Boosts hydration and glow with this protective lip mask formulated with apricot, jojoba rosehip, and papaya seed oils that work synergistic, synergis, <laughs> synergistically to keep lips chap free, soothed, and plumped at the same time. Let's see if we can get this opened up. So what is your go-to subscription box? And if you don't have one yet, uh, first of all, what are you waiting for? It's the best treat ever. But second of all, which one are you keeping an eye out to look at? I will put all of my links down below of the different ones that I get. Um, and I have started a wish list. So maybe I'll add a few of those down there and see which one you guys think I should get. The packaging on this is so cute and I believe that is a full-size product. So that is super exciting. Up next we have this gorgeous little pink thing. It is Sophia and Maybelle Tinted Lip Oil. That is really pretty. Okay guys, I gotta swatch this one and I have to swatch it for two reasons. One, because I'm just super, super curious as to what color it is and two, because every other subscription box person, unboxing person, swatches it. So I gotta do what they do, guys. Just kidding. Let's see if you guys can see it. Ooh, it's a really pretty light pink. I don't know that you'll see it other than it being shiny. Does it have a smell? Mm -mm. Oh, it doesn't have a smell. It's just very, very shiny. Awesome. I like that one too. Oh, let's move my hair back out. Quit touching your hair, Kyla. Alrighty, guys. Up next, we have the Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara. I love my mascaras. So I have one particular go-to mascara that I use all of the time, and that is my Red Aspen Maggie Mascara. But I like to mix it up sometimes, and so samples are the best. Next, we have a Gold Fadden MD Problem Deep Line Solution Needleless Line Smoothing Concentrate. Dr. Gold Fadden Smoothing Serum is the ultimate non-invasive solution to reduce the appearance of fine line depth. Perfect little sample. I bet we can get a few uses out of that to see if it makes a difference or not. It looks like last but not least in this particular bag, which was again, gorgeous. I have to just keep showing that. That might be added to my Kate Spade bag. We have we or way. I'm not sure how you say it. And I know I've heard it said both ways online. So I'm gonna say it way, O-U-A-I, scalp and body scrub. Let's see how it smells. Oh, it does have a cover on it. So to Abadabs, safety seal. The smell is interesting. It smells almost like medication. It does not smell spa-like. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Blend of sugar, coconut oil, probiotics cut through the BS to cleanse your hair and body while calming the crazy. Hey, 
a girl can always use that, right? Never hurts to calm the crazy. Alrighty guys, so that was all for this particular bag right here. Let's dive in to the next one. This one did have two things on the outside of it, so it's very possible that one of these next two things goes to that last bag, but either way, this is so cute. I am obsessed. You can use it as a little wristlet. It does have the Ipsy label on there. And then that is also the zipper pull. First up, we have some kind of a little compact. It looks like it is from Elamon Beauty. Up in Smoke and Sierra Eyeshadow Duo. Perfect. Sounds like the perfect color for a good new year. The colors are so Stunning. I don't know how I feel about that mustard yellow one, but the gold one, oh, we might even have to try that on the ice today. So I will go ahead and swatch those and we will see how they do. Oh, holy pigment. I probably should have brought something in here <laughs> to wipe my hands off on. Okay, so I will tell you, I did not expect that much pigmentation, especially out of the goldish yellow one. So let's see if we could do this through the camera. You guys, shut the front door. I'm feeling a little bougie, a little fancy. I don't hate it. And that yellow color, I'll give it a chance. Not right now, but I'll give it a chance because that gold is stunning. So again, the Elemon Beauty, and that is an eyeshadow duo in Up in Smoke and Sierra. Loving that. Up next, we have the Tarte Tartiest which I'm pretty sure is another mascara. Let's double check on the back. Yep, that is another mascara. Now you will notice that I do not open my mascara samples because mascara isn't good for very long. It says once it's open, it's good for six months, but as soon as you get air into it, it can change the texture quicker than if you just leave it sealed until you're ready to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down for a future use. Then we have the Yensa Color and Face Tone Up Primer. This stuff is fantastic. Everything I've tried from this brand for Yensa has been out of this world so good. So this one is an essential glow with eight super blocks essence. The Superfood Cosmetic Moisture and Prep Skin for Makeup Blurs Imperfections and Pores provides bright skin tone powered by eight super blocks essence. The Ritual, smooth a thin layer of tone-up primer over clean, moisturized skin. Blend foundation for smooth, even coverage. Live your yen. Loving that. Okay, I am a huge fan of, I keep saying that. I need to come up with new words for the channel. I am a big fan though of anything primer. Right now I am using the Blue Professionals Benefit Primer. And I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's glorious. Up uh, next, we have something from Context. Hide your heart. So it kind of looks like a little lipstick. It looks like a little lipstick container. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look-see and see what kind of amazingness we have inside. Alrighty, guys, what's your guess? Put it down in the comments what you think this Context is. It is a lipstick and look at that. I feel like there's like some total ASMR for twisting up a lipstick for the first time. Okay, I'm being super careful because I don't want it to break off. So this does look like a full size item. This does not look like a sample product and we're gonna go ahead and test it right there. Oh, holy pink friends. That one is pretty. Okay, let's see, can I rock it? I didn't plan on this being a try on, but I mean, if the colors are right, guys, and you don't have lipstick on, you might as well give it a try, right? That is beautiful. Ooh, we are gonna finish this out extra fancy with the gold eyeshadow and this stunning lipstick. Oh my gosh, it's so soft, it's not sticky, and it doesn't have a weird smell or taste. Mm -mm. None at all. Okay, I love it, guys. There it is again on my hand, and there it is on my face. Alrighty guys, that is all for this little pink and black bag. But like I said, there were two things inside of the bag. So they could go with either this one or this one. So one of those things is, ooh, two masks. Perfect. From BRTC Degrees is my assumption because it has a circle up there. A vitamin B5 velvet mask, soothing plus panthenol plus Sika. And then a BRTC Degrees vitamin A velvet mask, firming plus beta glucan. They are very nice looking and very plump. 
inside. I cannot wait to use these. They are eco-friendly. The vitamin A helps plump the skin, improving fine lines and skin elasticity. And the vitamin B helps calm sensitive skin quickly and effectively. You leave these on for 10 to 20 minutes and then rub them in. I love a good sheet mask. Apply them in the bath, throw on a sheet mask. It makes my night. I'm just recently into baths with a ridiculous amount of salt. What word am I trying to find? Hey babe, Matt, I don't wanna look it up. I'm obsessed with taking baths right now before bed with a ridiculous amount of Epsom salt. My doctor is absolutely amazing and due to some pain I was in, she suggested two cups for every bath full of Epsom salt. So I take a nice hot bath, finish off with a nice cool shower and then off to bed I go. So I love it. Alrighty guys, up next we do have this Stunning Bell and Argent. I should be able to say that better since I did take four years of French brush and it's just a the perfect eyeshadow brush which I've been looking for because it's time for me to update and refresh my brushes. So that is perfect. Alrighty guys, up last, definitely not least, we have this beautiful bag, gold and black with a gold charm at the top and zipper pull. And this one is stacked. Oh, how I missed my Ipsy bags. Alrighty, guys. Up first, we have this super cute itty bitty bottle. And on it, it says Wake Heart Conscious Conversations. Ooh, guys, what is this? Okay, it is a little bit wet on the outside. It has a smell to it. It smells delicious. Something vanilla, but floral maybe? Ooh, now I wanna know and it doesn't give me an explanation of what it is. Wake Heart LLC with no other information on it. It's a roller ball. So I am going to go ahead and assume that this is a perfume. Let's give it a try. Okay, it does smell like alcohol though. So that makes me a little bit nervous that it's not perfume. Ooh, but when you put it on, it's gotta be, definitely. The verdict is in. If it's not, I've decided that this is a perfume. Oh my gosh, that smells glorious. I'm gonna have to look that up and see if I can find the notes to that. If I can, I will put them in the description box below, but that is from Wake Heart. Is that not the cutest little bottle? What is next? I feel like this one has taken us forever to get to. Define me by Sophia Isabel. This is a natural perfume. Two perfumes in the same box. I don't think I've seen that happen because I always, on my quiz for Ipsy, I always say I want perfumes, but I don't know that I've ever gotten them. And now I've gotten two and I'm kind of here for it, guys. So this is, I don't know if this has been leaking. The box is very, very strong and it's only about half full. So this has a little bit more of a muskier smell than that other one did. It's another roller ball, also glass for this one. And look at this beautiful butterfly that they put on there. So they paid attention to all the detail and I love it. So two perfumes. Okay, so sometimes smells go citrusy on me and this little beauty, Wake Heart, is not it. It smells so yummy. I'm gonna have to have Matt smell me. Yes, I said that. Alrighty, up next we have the, okay, guys, I think I got a perfume box without paying attention, which I'm okay with, but I've never gotten a perfume box from them and everything in here is something perfume related. So bonus, we get to just smell extra, extra yummy. Look at this branding, you guys. Like shut the front door, what is happening? That is so Stunning, it goes over to the side of the box. This is from Catherine Malandrino, Special Moments. This one is a plastic bottle, which is perfect for your purse. Again, beautiful packaging. It's all lifting on the sides, but that is easy to press down. And as you can see, it just has absolutely beautiful packaging. Let's see if this one explains what the smell is. Do not spray into the eyes or towards a naked flame, guys. If we have to put a warning label on perfume bottles that say do not spray into your eyes or towards a naked flame, I believe that the time has come that process of elimination is upon us. <laughs> like why does there have to be a warning on an all alcohol product not to spray it towards a naked flame or in your eyes? Like I have never opened up a thing of perfume and went, oh my gosh, this looks so fun to spray in my eyes. I haven't, call me weird, call me different. Maybe it's the norm, maybe people do that. I don't. Okay, 
enough of that rant. I'm gonna spray just a little bit of this, maybe, on the box. We'll fan it out a little bit. We have a lot of smells going on in here. Oh, guys. Why does it have something spicy at the end of it? Oh my gosh, it smells so good, so good. Okay, we're three for three, guys. And I'm kind of picky when it comes to perfumes. So three for three, I am not complaining. Let's see, what's up next? Commodity Milk, Scent Space, Expressive for Me and the Many Around Me. The art of perfumery should be intuitive. At Commodity, we're demystifying fragrance in order to make the exceptional accessible. We like to keep things simple. No smoke, no mirrors, just a passion for the ethical, elemental, and atypical. Loving that brand philosophy. I am here for it. It is another plastic package. It is Circle. Scent Space is expressive. Okay, this one feels, smells, feels, I don't know where that came from. A little bit more musky. Hmm, I am trying to decide if I'm smelling too many different scents together or if we finally got one that just is not good. So remember, everyone's preference is different and when you spray it on yourself, it's gonna smell different than coming directly out of the bottle. So this might totally be your jam. I don't know that I will try this one. Alrighty, let's see what's next. The last thing, oh my gosh. Okay, the last thing in the bag is a Kenzie perfume. I learned about Kenzie through Ipsy years ago and I have had three different ones and I buy the full size in them almost every time because they have the most amazing scents that I've ever seen. So this one or ever smell, goodness. Um, this one is Kenzie. Let's see which one it is though. It doesn't look like it says on the outside. So you do get a free Kenzie fragrance gift. Oh, it doesn't say it on the outside of this one either. I wonder what this one is. Okay, guys, I can already smell it in the bottle. So good. Okay, last item in the bag. It's glorious. It's so good. Fruity, but not overwhelming. A little bit floral. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I got a perfume bag. It is stunning, as you guys can tell here. And it was perfect. It's exactly what I didn't know that I wanted or needed. Oh, but it looks like there is one more thing that was at the bottom of that Miller bag, and that is this Pinrose Fun Six Pack of Petals. Content includes six petals, fragrance towelettes chosen from yeah. among these 10 Pinrose Eau de Parfum. Secret Genius, Pillow Talk Poet, Mystical Misfit, Gilded Fox, Merry Maker, Pinrose, Sun Saint, Wild Child, Little Dipper, Tambourine Dreamer. So you open it up and they are individually packaged, which is super cute. This one is the Pinrose Secret Genius, Madagascar Vanilla, Caramel, and Sandalwood. How to use, apply fragrance to pulse points using Towelette. Wait for 15 seconds until it dries. How cute is that for your purse, you guys? So we got Secret Genius, Secret Genius, Sun Saint, Wild Child, Mystical Misfit, and Merry Maker. Okay, I'm, I have a couple of these that I'm curious about. So Merry Maker is Nectarine, Plum, and Tonka Bean. And Wild Child is Gardenia, Jasmine, and Frangenpini? Frangenpini? I don't think those are right. Alrighty guys, that is everything for today's Ipsy unboxing. I hope you all have a very, very safe and amazing new year and have so many goals and things to look forward to in 2022. We will be back early 2022 because my Sparkle Hustle Grow Box has already meld. So that should be here by Monday. And so I will get that up early next week. We will also have Ipsy and Passion and Growth all in the month of January, 2022. So until I see you next time, thanks again for tuning in to Kai's Box. Do all the YouTube things down below and I will see you next time.